Uh, pressure. Some of these gas get hectic. I put my bitch in the best shit. Wanna act goofy, stretch quick. Pressure. Some of these gas get hectic. I put my bitch in the best shit. Wanna act goofy, stretch quick. Yo, 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 what is up, what is up? It's me, it's me, it's me, it's Keenan. We're back, we're in the building with another video. Again, it's your first time here at the Keenan Building YouTube page. I suggest you hit that bell, follow your notifications, let you know when I do go live and upload videos such as this one. Got you covered. Where's the Eagles, Sixers, Phillies, and those Flyers? Now let's get into it. Again, training camp, ladies and gentlemen, will be next week for the Philadelphia Eagles. And today, we will be previewing the running backs on the team. And as you know, run, what running backs are going into training camp, who will come out as uh, starters, backups, time will tell. But we all know the Eagles finished um, the 2021 season with a franchise record 2,715 yards of total rushing yards. Jalen Hurts did have 800 of those yards in rushing. So we got one of the best offensive line in the game, top five, to to produce running. So let's see who's going into camp. Of course, we all know Miles Sanders is going to be your starter. He turned 25 on May 1st. It's just crazy how he has not yet had a thousand yards rushing on any season. Um, last season, you know, he was hurt. He did miss five games with multiple injuries. His only issue is can Miles Sanders stay healthy enough this season to stay on the field? Uh, last season, he did rush for 754 yards and he averaged 5.5 yards a carry, but he could not get into the end zone, which was mind boggling to me how he could not get into the end zone. Hopefully this season, uh, with Shane Steichen, he can get into the end zone and he can stay healthy. Then, of course, you got Boston Scott. Now, Boston Scott was an unrestricted free agent. He did sign his tender, and he's going to be here for another year. But he's a Darius Bros 2.0. We all know he's a small guy. He can make crazy cuts. He's crazy fast. He's a Darius Bros 2.0. He had a solid season, uh, 87 carries, three, 373 rushing yards, and seven TDs. And he is also labeled as the Giants killer. We also have second year man Kenneth Gainwell. Um, he's probably going to enter number two back going into the, the season. Uh, he is a dynamic dual threat. He can catch out the backfield. He can run 16 games as a rookie. Not bad. 681 yards, six touchdowns also as a rookie. And we all know he can he can be that one-two tandem if Sanders stays hurt, and I mean, if Sanders stays healthy, and then you got Gainwell, definitely that's the one-two punch. You put in Boston Scott in there where needed, definitely. Um, Kennedy Brooks. Kennedy Brooks was an undrafted free agent. Um, he is a Texas native, from o and he's from Oklahoma. Uh, he had three one one k, a uh, thousand yard rushing seasons, three straight years. Uh, with Oklahoma, and he could be that power back that we're going to be missing now that Jordan Howard is no longer here. So he can be that power back that we need to get those tough couple yards. He could be that back. And also, you know, Jason Huntley been on the practice squad here with us for a while. He mostly spent time on the practice squad, as I, as I stated. He might can be, um, you know, in the, in the special teams, kickoff, punt, but We'll see. He'll likely be that fifth or fourth or fifth guy on the roster. Uh, but that's Jason Huntley. He did show flashes like when I saw when he did get into the game that I saw. So we'll we'll definitely see those guys. And hopefully they're going to have a good training camp. But let me know what you think in the comments. The, the, the running backs going into training camp. How would they do? How would they do on the season? Let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, I'm in the building. I'll see you in another video.